it's no secret now, I think most of you know that Tim Burton is directing a new version of the Dark Shadows film. I was in the first one with Jonathan Frid uh, that we did for MGM, and that was in 1970. It came out in, in autumn of 1970. And now Johnny Depp is taking over the role of Barnabas Collins, and, uh, and he's doing the new Warner Brothers film that Tim uh, Burton is directing. And the script is by Seth Graham Smith and, and John August. And I think you probably all know, too, that Laura Parker, David Selby, Jonathan Fritt, and me, <laughs> we were all in London only about uh, two and a half months ago, and we were filming cameos in the new film. And we all signed confidentiality agreements, so we can't <laughs> tell you what we did, but we can tell you all kinds of other things. So you'll ask your questions, and I will, I will answer. But it was great fun, <clears throat> because um, for one thing, uh, as many of you know, I've written a number of books about Dark Shadows. Uh, Dark Shadows Memories, Dark Shadows Companion, and, and, uh, and, a, and a number of other books about Dark Shadows. And what I was really pleased is that when I was on the set for the film, I spoke with Helena Bonham Carter, and, uh, who, is, who is with Tim Burton. And she said, oh, I know your books. They were all sitting on Tim's desk. <laughs> I was very pleased to hear that. So uh, I am going to be bringing out a new book uh, that has to do with the film. That book will be out next May. So uh, if you check my website, katherineleescott.com, you'll, you'll get news of that. But it was really fun doing the film because, first of all, the script is a complete departure from the other two films. And I think many of you have probably read the synopsis, which is available on the internet. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's, it's fun because it's, it's, got a, it's got a Rip Van Winkle twist to it, which I think is just perfect. It takes place in 1972, which oddly enough is the year after Dark Shadows went off the air. And uh, also in this film, uh, Laura Parker and David Selby and Jonathan Frid and myself were working with Helena Bonham Carter, uh, who's playing Grayson Hall's role and um, Dr. Hoffman, and Michelle Pfeiffer, who is playing Joan Bennett's role, uh, Elizabeth Collins, Elizabeth Collins Stoddard, and uh, and who else? Oh, the woman playing my role. She's um, she's only a year older than I was when I played the role of Josette, but it's Bella Heathcote. Uh, she's a lovely Australian actress, and Eva Green is playing Angelique. Uh, which is, of course, Laura Parker's role. So it, it was really fun being on the set. And since a lot of you are new to Dark Shadows, maybe we should start the, the question and answer a little bit early, because maybe you've got some questions. Anybody got a question they'd like to? Yes. My, I, um, I'm, as I said, I'm new, to the, I'm new to it. I actually got into it from knowing about the movie, and I started watching the original series, and I just got hooked. <laughs> I mean, I can't stop watching it. But, and something I thought was really interesting is when they released that um, full cast photo of, you know, of everyone in the new film, right. Grayson, um, Helena and Johnny look almost identical to Grayson and Jonathan. In this their is amazing. I don't know if you're, if you're aware of what uh, she's talking about, but uh, there is an iconic photograph taken in 1967 and we're all in it. I, I'm dressed as Maggie Evans. I'm wearing my waitress uniform. Uh, and Joel Crothers, who played my boyfriend, is standing behind me. And uh, Alexandra Molka, Nancy Barrett, Joan Bennett, all of the other actors, including Jonathan Frid and David Selby, they're all in this picture. And Tim Burton was so in love with this, this photograph of the, of the original family that he decided to do a, a, take the same photograph with the new cast. And it's been all over the internet, and it's really fun because you know it's uh, Helena Bonham Carter, Michelle F uh, Pfeiffer, and uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, I've forgotten the little boy's name. His first name is Gully, and uh, but the whole cast is there. And what's really really fun is that I found another take uh, from that original picture we took in 1967. And that's the one that's going to go in my new book, and I'm, I'm thrilled to have found it. But it's really fun to see how the original cast from 1966, when the show went on the air, compares to this new cast that'll be in the 2012 film. And let me mention that if you want to see the picture, 
we've of course uh, appropriated it from the website that had it on, and it's on our blog, <coughs> Rooney's Press website. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see it real fast, all you have to do is type in Rooney's <laughs> Press and go to Chris Irving's blog, and it's up there with the picture and a whole lot of other pictures. I'm mm. not doing a rush. Mm. No, no, that's fine. Uh, it was <laughs> uh, uh, the new book that that I'm writing is almost three quarters written, and one of the fun things uh, was to write the opening chapter, which is journey back to Collinwood, and it's all about our trip, uh, our trip back to London, uh, to do the filming, and uh, and it was it was really fun because. Uh, even though they told us to sign confidentiality agreements, <laughs> there we were with our cameras taking pictures all over the place. So uh, the book will also contain a lot of behind the scenes, you know, candid, candid photographs, which are always fun. Does anybody else have a question? Yes. Uh, uh, oh. Is there anything you know about the film? Yes. Now that's an interesting thing. The uh, the second Dark Shadows film is the one that uh, Laura Parker starred in. It was called Night of Dark Shadows, and uh, many of you know that it was ill cut. Uh, it was it was badly uh, edited when it first came out, and it's being it's uh, being entirely uh, reformatted. And uh, the um, the arrangement with Warner Brothers is that it cannot come out until I think it's six months after the new film. So it's in the works and it'll be out in another, uh, actually it'll be out a year from now. But you had a question? Yes. Um, being a part of the original cast, what is it like to watch them um, uh, re-envision it to, you know, um, not re-envision it, but do a new version, I guess. <laughs> That's a very good question. At a certain point, you just have to let it go. Uh, it's, uh, it was really funny because <clears throat> when we knew that the new film was being done, and, uh, and Laura, and then, uh, she'll talk about this, I'm sure, but uh, Laura happened to hear Eva Green talking about the, the role of Angelique as though, Laura said, it's hers. <laughs> and, of course, you know, uh, when, when we created these characters 45 years ago, uh, they were all ours. And since then, there have been a couple of reincarnations of, of Dark Shadows. There are other women who have played um, Maggie Evans and Josette Dupre and Angelique. Uh, but this is a big Warner Brothers film. And I have to tell you, it is very odd being on a set uh, and, and looking at this young, blonde girl, big blue eyes, as I said, only a year older than I was when I played the role, and there she is playing my role. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and of course, it's not her role. She'll bring to it, you know, all of her <laughs> talent. <laughs> but, but I have to say, there is a point when you just have to let it go. 